Hi guys, Dan here at Trojan Art Painting. It's been a while since I got some FaceTime. I've done a few videos since the last time we spoke face to face, so to speak. But I uh, had a lot of fun today. I went on a went shopping uh, and sold some stuff on eBay and made a little money. So I had a little cash burning a hole in my pocket. So I went to uh, Hobby Lobby and then to Hobby Town and then to my pretty local gaming store called uh, Texas Toy Soldier in Dallas and uh, picked up some things and uh, I don't know for some reason I like watching people's showing what they bought so I thought I figured I'd show you all the same thing yeah, plus I just got done with that five part series on uh, making those terminators so I want to do something a little different uh, first I went to a, a Hobby Lobby and of course took the old 40 percent coupon and I, well, I, I, I bought this uh, this tool set, uh, this uh, Tamiya tool set it's got a couple of screwdrivers and a, a snips and a file and some tweezers and stuff and a, and a cutter. That's, that's pretty cool. Didn't really need it, but it looked cool, so I said, what the heck. Also got me some Tamiya putty. Got the gray and the white. There's no difference between the two other than the color. What's cool about this stuff, you can thin it down with the Tamiya thinner as thin as you need it. And it's easily sandable. It's really good stuff. Uh, what these plastic... Uh, rings here uh, but we, what we use them for we uh, in our uh, Napoleon game we play we keep track of how many orders units gets with get with four-sided dice and when they get down to zero we just leave it with the one pointing up and we put these rings on it uh, to show that they're down to zero so we never have too many of them also it's great when you go to Hobby Lobby to uh, go back and check the you know the clearance section in the back wall uh, I bought some oil paints for like nothing, frankly, and then I got this this little set too that had uh, linseed oil, uh, fast dry, medium, and UV matte varnish, UV gloss varnish, W oil, and I think it it was like 90% off. I got it for a couple dollars, so that's that was very very useful. Then I got about four or five bags of these uh, big corks I use too to uh, mount the guys on when I'm painting them. And uh, let's see. Then I went to uh, Hobby Town and didn't have a good experience there. Matter of fact, after I went to Hobby Town, when I went to Texas Toy Soldier, I walked in and told uh, Alan, the guy that owns the place, I said, "Am I going to have a good retail experience?" Because what happened? I was in there and I. It was in Carrollton, so it was kind of. There's several other Hobby Towns closer, probably, but I looked on the internet and it, it had all the symbols, you know. They show a symbol for what type of to me of products they carry, and it had paint, tools, models, or anything. It had the most symbols, so I figured they'd have the best selection. So I drove a little out of my way and went there. And uh, they had a pretty good selection, but when I was in there, like every guy that worked in there walked up and asked me if I needed help, of course, and some of them twice because I just you know driven pretty good distance. I you know I was going to take my time. I wasn't just going to rush in and out. And plus, I'd never been in that store before. So I picked up a, let's see, a, they had a box of Perry 28 millimeter Civil War figures there for $29. I, I grabbed that. I grabbed, uh, uh, a, you know, some number 11 Exacto knife blades, uh, an Andrea, an Andrea uh, red paint set box with the six bottles in it for like, I think they're like $24 or something. Uh, Something else. Anyway, oh, and the, the main reason I went there, I wanted to me a, uh, the clear red paint to use for blood. And uh, so I, you know, I had about $75, $80 worth of stuff. And I go up to the counter, and the guy's standing there talking on the phone. So I'm thinking, well, okay, hey, you know, that's, that's cool. He's probably even taking an order with the customer or something. You know, but then it got to be a minute, two minutes, and he's like turning his back on me. And I'm thinking, well, you know, one, he he could call all those other guys up here to help me, or two he could couldn't he ring me up and talk at the same time, or you know at least not turn his back, or at least he could say you know hang on or something. Anyway, this went on for several more minutes, and finally I just left all the stuff sitting on the counter and we walked out. I was like, man, I don't need this crap. So let that be a lesson to you people that uh, want to be rude to customers. Uh, there's just too many choices these days, uh, and it's amazing that you know because the the uh, brick and mortar places are certainly struggling to keep up with online retailers and then the guy wants to act like that so you know I was out of there man I don't, I don't need this crap plus it gave me an extra 75 bucks to spend at Texas Toy Soldier I guess 
Uh, oh, another thing I bought at, at a hobby uh, Hobby Lobby, my first stop, was were these uh, Tamiya Q-tips, the pointed ones. There's, I already used some of them, but they're, they they come two of these packs in, in a package for like four or something. But they're great because I've used regular Q-tips usually, but they, what they do, they uh, they leave lint, they, they leave little strings all over your fingers, man. Uh, and these don't. These the cotton, the cotton's more packed in there, and it doesn't leave any lint. Plus, they're pointed, so I think they're worth, worth certainly worth the money. Like when you uh, you do a wash, then you want to you know get the uh, excess off the uh, the raised areas. These are good, so it's good to have these around. I think to me is a good investment for the for the Q-tips. Okay, so now we're at Texas Toy Soldier and. Alan at Texas Twitch Older, he's he's one of those retailers that opposite the guys at Hobby Town. You know, he knows he knows what he, he's he does it right. All his all his uh, uh, Warhammer Warhammer 40k, all his GW stuff, um, and his War Machine stuff, and his Battlefront stuff's 25 percent off. Plus, you can go in there. I've gone there several times and said, "Hey, man," and he has a clearance wall too. But also, I've gone, you know, "Hey, man, uh, you got anything in here that's." Uh, been around a while, you just want to get rid of, and he'll say, he'll, yeah, you know, and he'll just point it out, and he did that again today, so, worked out pretty cool, but anyway, here's what I got, I got the Chaos Marines Codex, of course, already flipped through it, pretty cool, I don't know, if this Malfo Lazarus, I didn't get him there, he's just kind of sitting there, because he's going to be my next project, actually. I got him at a place called Area 51 in Grapevine. By the way, Area 51 is cool. He had a real small store for a long time. It's getting crowded, uh, especially with the Magic players. And what he did, he, he moved across the street to a big, huge store. Man, it looks like a bingo parlor. There's so many tables lined up in there. So, uh, you know, good luck to the guys at Area 51. You can look at them online, too. And uh, anybody that lives in the area, you should go and visit those guys. Area 51, and they don't really compete with uh, with Allen at Texas Toy Soldier either, uh, because uh, it, so it's uh, it's pretty good. These guys carry Malifaux, and uh, uh, they don't carry any GW stuff. Uh, they do a lot of magic stuff, but they carry paint supplies and Malifaux, uh, and uh, Drop Zone Commander, and uh, uh, Flames of War stuff too. But uh, anyway, real real nice guys, and then they also will help you out if you, you know you say hey you had anything sitting around a while that's what I love about those guys so anybody complains about the high prices the GW stuff man you just got to look around don't go online and, and pay pay retail prices that's just you know or going to a GW store and pay retail prices that's 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 silly silly you're being silly okay so anyway back at uh, Alan at Texas Toy Soldier. So I walked in, like I said, I said, man, I want, I'm, am I going to have a positive retail experience? He said, oh, I did. A real friendly guy stopped what he was doing, you know. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to pick up. I know what I'm, some of the stuff I'm going to pick up, but what else, you know, you got? And I, I, I did what I explained to you a minute ago. I said, you know, what do you got you're trying to get rid of? So I got this uh, War Machine Cador Man of War. And I know he's, he's metal, but, I mean, he was like less than wholesale. Uh, I, I took the price tags off already, so I don't remember what it was, but that don't really matter at all anyway, I guess. But really, really cool figure. I've been kind of keeping my eye on for a while, so I decided to pick that up. Got the uh, Tank Busters from Dust, uh, the Heavy Ranger Tank Studio Squad. Heavy Ranger Tank Hunter Squad, rather. Uh, Dust. He had a bunch of this stuff marked down, too, but uh, I got these, and I got the, uh, the German uh, Commando. Squad, but I've already opened them and started on them. Then he said, uh, "Yeah, I got those uh, marked down." He had three of them, but there's another guy in there that hadn't been in a while. He uh, he asked me if they paint up cool, if they look cool, and how to do them. And I talked to him for a while. And I said, uh, well, yeah, uh, "This is the the, the Coven Throne or the Mortis Engine." Um, and, and I, he said, "Well, how do you paint? Is it easy to paint?" I said, "Well, I've seen some people paint it like flames. I've seen some people paint it like you know ghosts and stuff. You know, either way, it looks pretty cool. You know, some people leave off the little circling ghosts around the top. Anyway, he had three of these, and uh, I think the retail price was sixty-two dollars, and he, you know, he sold them to me for uh, thirty-two, thirty-two dollars. So, you know, hello, I grabbed two of them. Yeah, I did." <coughs> uh, then I got a, I got a box of Space Marine Terminator Squad. Uh, 
Let's see. And I got the uh, I got the regular the guys with the like the guns, and I got the guys with the little claw things too. I'm new to Space Brain stuff, so I don't know all the terminology. But I've already opened up the the uh, assault dude with the claws and stuff. But so I got two boxes of these guys. They were 25 percent off. So still a pretty good deal. I got these uh, corn berserkers just because I thought they looked so cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking uh, maybe painting them up as Empress Children or something, but we'll see. And those were 25% off. Got this guy. Uh, I think he. I got. It, I think uh, the Storm Strider, Signar Storm Strider War Machine. Uh, he, he. I got him for like. Less than half. I think it was eighty dollars or something, eighty-two. I don't know. And I got it for like forty. So, you know, he was wanting to get rid of it, and so I, you know, I grabbed it. Okay. Uh, oh, here's those other guys that I already opened up. The yeah, Terminator Salt Squad. Yeah, pick them up. But I, I opened them up to use the little Terminator symbols on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, Storm Giants guys to put them on that. Piece right here, stuck them on there to give them a little extra decoration. Oh, got my Micromark catalog in the mail today. If you don't get a Micromark catalog in the mail, you are not a serious hobbyist. No, just kidding. But the, the really cool tools in this thing. Uh, I would recommend getting their their steel scraper out of here, so you know, uh, for uh, cleaning up mold lines. And this all kind of neat little hand tools. Might be preached to the choir there, but anyway. I oh, picked up War Games Illustrated. This is the, uh, the special 300th edition. No, yeah, 300th edition, 25 year anniversary, both. So it's like double thickness. And uh, barely started plowing my way through it, but you know, that's pretty cool. Two cans of Arnie Painter. I got uh, Ultramarine Blue and what, Demonic Yellow. So I probably have 12 or 15 cans of this stuff done great. You know, this, this stuff goes on smooth, it dries flat, it dries quick. I mean, it's like $12 a can or something from I get from uh, Allen, but uh, it takes a toy soldier. But man, I, you know, you, after this stuff dries, you can't tell the difference between this and airbrush. It really goes on smooth and, and uh, flat. It's really, really nice. I love using that stuff. Then I picked up these. I don't paint 15s anymore. It's because my eyes are too bad. Uh, I guess I can still paint them. I, I, I use a drop magnifier, so I guess I can still paint them. But then once I paint them, I can't really enjoy them on the table because I put them out there and can't see them that good. So I like playing with something I can see. But anyway, I picked these up because he had them for, you know, these are Essex Miniatures uh, Camps. Uh, it's Camp 2. I think it's, uh, I don't know what type it is. But anyway, he had them for practically giving them away a couple dollars each. So I grabbed them. It might be fun painting something that small again. Maybe I'll just paint it and sell on eBay. I don't know if there's a market for them or not. Ah, then uh, I already got one of these, one box of these still sealed. I own the blood box, but hey, save the 75 bucks at uh, from not buying the stuff from Hobby Town and you know, with Allen's discount. Um, this is right, right at that that mark. So picked up another box of this and. Uh, I already bought one box of uh, yeah, Dark Vengeance, and I want to use the uh, the Chaos Marines out of it, and also uh, the Hellbrute and a few other things. And I'll probably just sell the uh, Cultists and the the uh, Dark Angels and stuff on on eBay, or just paint them up and sell them. But anyway, wanted to get another box of this, and but you know sometimes you get carried away. Hello, bought two boxes. So now I got three boxes of these. I guess that's about it for my. Oh, and also at Hobby Lobby, you know they always have stuff you can. Don't ever go into Hobby Lobby without printing out the forty percent off discount coupon online. You go to, to uh, you just go to their their website, uh, their Hobby Hobby Lobby website, and click on in-store specials, then the forty percent coupon will click up, uh, print out. It will, will pop up. You print it out. You know, cut it out. Put it in your wallet. And go down there, and, and anything you want to, any any one item per day you want, doesn't matter what the price of it is. If it's not on clearance or on sale, you get forty percent off. 
And I believe that's how I'm going to get my first airbrush. I had some of what Eclipse is there. Uh, $199 for the BS or BCS. I'm thinking, hmm, $199, that's $200, 40% off. You know, uh, looking at, what, $100, $120 since the 200 So, yeah, it's a good deal. So always take that 4% coupon off with you. And then also, of course, they have 50% clearances all the time. So I got these two. These are actually candle holders, but I got them for my, uh, my other... Uh, uh, cups for my water for washing my brushes for getting kind of old and my uh, the other one I had was made out of alabaster it was a pot made out of alabaster and it actually like the the water dissolved through it dissolved the hole in it and over time ate a hole through it and it started leaking so anyway I got these a little fancy little smoked uh, uh, glasses here candle holders for a couple dollars each <clears throat> then uh at Texas Toy Soldier I restocked on my Vallejo paint too he, he also has that stuff uh, discounted really well, so I just picked up some of the uh, some of the colors I use all the time. Looks like I've got nine bottles of colors I use all the time. And uh, if you hadn't checked out uh, the uh, the Space Marine uh, Storm Giants Terminators uh, video that I put up right before this one, go ahead. And if you don't want to, you know, trudge your way all through five all five videos. Uh, Please check out the end of the last one and, and look at the, uh, the the completed models. Let me know what you think. Uh, now the way I the way I paint, you know, you're gonna have as many different styles as you do painters. The way I paint, and, and I hope you'll I hope that'll show up when you look at the Terminators. Is I paint, uh, I guess my painting style would most closely relate to impressionist style. Not that there's colors splashed everywhere. I mean, I try to keep my lines clean, uh, but I like the. Uh, I don't. I don't try to hit every little detail. I certainly don't want to cover any detail, but you know, I, I think the good a good way to to think of it is, uh, you know, if you glance down the guy, you know what it is, and, and you see the color. You see the color pop or something that resembles a reflection pop. You know what it is. You're not gonna sit there and stare at every little detail. And it's not that I don't want to paint every little detail. It's just that that's my preferred method. And plus, I get old. Getting older, I like brighter colors for for some reason. I guess maybe they're easier to see. But the impressionist impressionist style also you can think of it as as um, when you're driving down when you're driving down the street and it's summertime. You see green, you know, flashing by both sides of your head. You might even look over and see green. You know, and see the the trees and the leaves. You don't have to see each individual leaf. To know, I mean, your mind knows that 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 tree has green leaves on it. All you're seeing is a blur of green. Uh, so that's that's how I think of the impressionist style. You know what it is without actually having to focus your eyeball in it. You know, close range. Now again, that's not saying I, I try to paint sloppy, but uh, well, maybe you'll see what I mean when you look at the uh, uh, the Terminators. Don't try to paint every little line perfectly and get every little highlight perfectly. I do try to cover it and make it look nice. So, anyway, uh, I guess that'll be it for now. So, uh, keep your positive attitudes and keep painting. I'll talk to you again soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. Um, when, when you're when you're watching uh, YouTube videos and you, and you want to learn more about painting techniques or uh, or using tools or tricks, tricks of the trade or similar models. Don't just concentrate on uh, on 40k or Warhammer or War Machine or or even people that play war games and, and painting war game miniatures. You know, look at look at how other guys uh, how other guys uh, 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 enjoy their their hobby, and you can get a lot of uh, get a lot of real. Uh, Good information off of them, and, and, and plus, you know, just the, some of the enthusiasm some of the guys bring is uh, is uh, really uh, you know it really helps out when you get kind of you know, bored or kind of you know tired, and you're saying, "Oh my God, I'll never finish these guys." You know, one guy I watch is uh, Dr. Cranky. <laughs> now he builds model cars, man. But uh, I tell you, I tell you what, I mean, the enthusiasm and the, and the uh, just the pure talent, and and, and uh, he's been doing it for a long time. So just the uh, just the experience he brings. So watch some of his videos. Um, 
and you know his uh, his channel is like damn cranky six six six. And of course, another guy I've been watching, he doesn't put up near enough stuff for me. I mean, I'd like to watch him every day as well. Splatten Studios. Uh, he put up an infinity figure today, man. Uh, his uh, chaos dwarves were really beautiful. And then today he put up an infinity figure, and I, you know, I, I, I watched that thing a couple times. So now I'm, I'm bothering him. Hey, get a better camera. You know, I want to see your stuff. I want to see your stuff in more detail. You know, it's because it, it, he paints so so well. Okay, now I am done. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later.